everyone welcome to programming knowledge so this is the 10th tutorial of our django series so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so so guys this is the github link of our repository you can download this project clone this project and run this project on your local machine i have defined below the instructions how you can install this project on your local machine as well as how you can run it so today we are working we are going to work with the forms so this is a 10 tutorial if you uh, have any doubt regarding the architecture structure of django you can refer to our previous tutorials as well so first thing now let's get started with this so forms are made to for the user input so forms are usually made according to your, your demand and requirement today we will create a form and then uh, we'll use forms uh, and then what we are going to do we are going to integrate the front end part of our form we'll today we'll create a responsive form layout and then we'll integrate the back end part of, of our logic with the front end part so we are going to create a uh, we'll see how we can integrate forms then we'll see how to we can uh, submit forms using the one with the request method and one with the post method then we will uh, figure out the difference what the difference between the two so let's get started with this so today so this is my project so first i will run my server so i'll type python manage.py run server and uh, you, i will move to my local host so i'll refresh this page so the server will get started so yeah you here you can see the server has started so what we are going to do today so what we are going to do first i'll create a path the url path path uh, i'll create my form okay and i'll create a view with the name views dot my form and I'll give this URL a name is equal to my form as well. Okay, that looks pretty fine. So first I will create a form and so I'll move to my views.py file. Okay, so here's my views.py file. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do, I'm I'll define a view, define my form and it'll take a request as a parameter and i'll render an html page and what i'm going to do i'm going to type return okay return render request and i'll make an html page my form dot html so this looks pretty fine so what i need to do so i need to define a uh, my form dot html inside my template page okay i'll move to my templates so i'll create a new file my form dot html so this looks pretty fine so what we are going to do today what are you going to do? So this is our form dot, our my form dot HTML page. So I have defined uh, a few links. We can move to this link, and uh, what we can do, we'll move to this link, and what we can do, uh, we'll look how we can create responsive forms using Bootstrap. So this is going to be very good. So we can see how we can create responsive forms using Bootstrap, and what we are going to do so this is like a box container with an email address then a password then check me out submit we can create a form like this only and this is another one email address example select so this is a select option uh, uh, with the drop down behavior so this is a text area and this is a, a form with an input type is equal to file so you here you can see this is input type is equal to file so why I'm telling you all this because this will uh, make you habitual with how what kind of widgets we have to work with the form then this is all about sizing and this is uh, what this uh, this is select and this is read only you can read this only note uh, edit allowed here then read only plain text so this is how we do so this is one of the uh, range inputs 
uh, this is a, a works and with the slider behavior then others are checkbox and this is disable checkbox then default radio second default radio disable radio and inline so we have very much decent type amount of parameters to work with and then uh, this is a form group so uh, this is form grid this form row uh, I'll, I'll just explain all this how you can make a form uh, uh, and we'll start this from scratch because this is what is going to be very one of the important parts uh, and, and let's get uh, started with designing our front end part so first I'll do what I'll do I'll just simply pick any template and I'll paste this because I have to extend my index.html to my form page so I'll change this name my form okay now okay I'll remove this line okay and I'll give a heading h1 let me give a heading my form and what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to go to my localhost and type slash my form okay so this looks the this is my form so I've defined the heading to make sure that the template is working so what I can do next is I'll move to this page and what you can do you can have a simple layout okay you can have any of the simple layout let's get to start with a simple one so we'll pick this okay or uh, if you want me to I'll, we'll make this from scratch okay first what you need to define you need to define a form group so we'll define a form group so for first we will define a div class is equal to container fluid okay this is a container then inside this we, we need to define a, a row then I'll define a column called medium of size 6 or, or you can say width 6 then I need to define a form okay so this will be fine now what do you need to define inside of you need to define a div class is a form group so I'll use this div class is equal to form group okay so what do you need to do so uh, I'll use an another okay uh, I'll uh, let's get uh, proceed with this so you can see that uh, for two inputs there are one div, div, div classes will form group and another is also div classes will form group so suppose you are having two inputs div class is equal to form group so here you can see I have a container, then a row, then a call, a column of uh, uh, of medium with six, then a form. Then uh, I have two form groups. This means I'm going to define two inputs. So one is input type is equal to text. I'll give this ID as my text, and name is equal to my text as well. Uh, and I'll define what you can see uh, they have defined input type is equal to email email class is equal to form control so I'll define this class to this because this class is necessary form control okay so this looks pretty fine and I define a label label for my form so here you can see they have must define a label label for so I'll define a label my text my text okay this looks pretty fine and what we can do I'll go to this page okay so here it is a form so but the, uh, right now there's no such in alignment so I'll go to inspect okay when I move to my inspect I'll go to div class with call md6 and I'll try some CSS out here so I'll do margin 0 auto so this looks pretty fine my form gets to the center okay I'll do this 
style is equal to margin 0 auto and with the same I'll do with the heading as well so I'll try the CSS on this as well uh, this is my heading so let's do something text align is equal to center okay this looks pretty fine and I'll give a little bit of a margin sorry I'll give margin top and I'll I'll use a relative unit and this is in terms of rem so you can simply either you can copy the CSS and this is a key shortcut you can work with this and I, I'll put a style tag here and I'll uh, paste the CSS here so this looks pretty fine so and I'll I'll right click here and I'll say format document okay this uh, format document or oh, this is is this isn't working I'll check uh, if something is okay and I have defined a heading and I'll do some changes okay I'm having some issue with this okay now oh, now this is fine right yes so I have a heading okay now this looks pretty fine and you can see I have a form with my text and I'll do the same okay I'll copy this quickly okay uh, I will define a, some uh, a, a text area so this is a text area so what we can do so this is a text area and we are defined rows for it for how much rows we want so we'll quickly do this okay let's do this text area class is equal to form control control okay rows is equal to three okay before this i'll give an id to it id sorry id my text area and as well as a name to it name is equal to uh, i'll give this a name as well my text area okay this looks pretty fine and i'll close this text area so it automatically closes it and i'll define a label for my text area and this was going to be my text okay I'll use a capital M and a capital T so this looks pretty fine and when I move to my page okay this looks pretty fine so this is a form we have made and we'll now test the responsiveness of this form so what we are going to do we are going to press ctrl shift i or you can simply press inspect right click inspect then we'll use a layout okay now you can see the beauty of bootstrap so you can see iphone 5 a responsive form is here uh, iphone 6 uh, ipad okay this uh, galaxy s5 so this is the responsive nature of a form so and this is you can see pixel 2 and here you can see that this is our form being responsive so this is a beautiful nature of uh, bootstrap so uh, thank you guys thank you so much so i'll catch up in the next tutorial we will uh, integrate this front end uh, part of our form with the back end uh, back end part so thank you guys